Builds on a potential conflict of interest in a years-long court battle, a caretaker accused of naming herself in a will without consent of the original beneficiaries. Tonight, we are hearing from the district attorney as well as the parties involved. News 2's Sarah Gray Barr joining us now to explain. Yeah, Sylvia Michael, the new details are because of a writ that the district attorney says is concerning. The writ says Judge Tiffany Foxworth Roberts never disclosed her involvement with one of Melba Bro's attorneys. But that attorney says it's just not true. The battle started when Garrett Claiborne died in 2021. At issue, a will created just weeks before he died that included his caregiver and her grandchildren as beneficiaries, giving them a $2 million destined condominium, all of his stocks and bank accounts, and half of his stake in his wife's interior design business, Beth Claiborne Interiors. The family sued, saying the older will should be honored because he was not capable of signing a new one in the mental state he was in, citing dementia. We're now learning the attorney for one of the defendants was also the attorney for the judge presiding in the case in another matter at the same time. This past Friday, we learned that, wait a minute, the, the judge was now represented by a lawyer uh, who she made a favorable ruling for, whether correct or not, and that caused us some concern and hesitation and pause that we really need to take a look at this. Attorney Dane Cialino represented another attorney, Maria Finley, in the case involving the will, but also was the counsel of record for Judge Foxworth Roberts at the same time. She retained him after she learned she was being investigated by the Judiciary Commission for misrepresenting her military background. A writ filed by Claiborne's widow says that coincidence was never disclosed. There's a conflict of interest uh, involved the case now, and her judgment brings her judgment uh, and her written reasons for judgment into question, and now we have to take a look at this case all over again. We reached out to the attorney accused of representing both women. In an emailed statement, Dane Ciolino writes, Judge Foxworth disclosed to all the parties at least twice that I was her lawyer, once on a phone conference and once in court during a bench conference. We asked, is there any proof that conversation was had in the records? Maria Finley, the attorney being represented by the same attorney as the judge, said that it was the widow's original attorney who waived the potential conflict, not the current attorney who filed the writ. Have you seen anything in your like browsing of the court documents that say that this information was disclosed? I have not. No. Hiller says it's a waiting game. As for the civil case, I'm assuming that they're going to ask for a new trial, uh, a different judge, obviously, and other sanctions, I'm sure. And as for the criminal charges against the caregiver, they've been dismissed because the judge said there was no evidence of fraud. However, the DA said because of that potential conflict, he'll be going through the history of the case to see if formal charges should be refiled. In studio, Sarah Bar, News 2.